Hello everyone, this video is all about wireless data transmission, so the components required. You need batteries for power supply, uh, 5 volts for each circuit, breadboard, and you need jumper wires, array of push type buttons, 33MHz transmitter, and a receiver. You also need an encoder circuit and a decoder circuit. And finally, you need 4 LED bulbs. Now this is the basic transmitter circuit, two pins for the power supply and one input data pin for the transmitter and the fourth pin is your antenna pin. On your receiver circuit there are three ground pins, two voltage pins, there are two data pins and one pin for your antenna. Now all we gotta do is connect your transmitter to the encoder circuit. The encoder circuit helps you to transmit multiple data. In this circuit, you have to connect the data pin of the transmitter to the 11th pin of the encoder. Make sure the 14th pin of the encoder is grounded. This acts as a return path from your switch. In the receiver circuit, connect the second pin of your receiver to the 14th pin of your decoder. Pin number 15 to 18 are your output pins. Here the receiver receives the signal from the transmitter through pin number 2 and decodes the signal for multiple channels. That's the one dimensional array of push type switch. We have to connect them to the transmitter circuit. In this circuit, AD8 to AD11 are the input pins for the transmitter. That's going to be encoded by the encoder circuit and sent as one signal. Now connect the common pin and the TE terminal to the ground. Now that's the power supply terminal for your circuit. That's your antenna. Now I have taken the power supply from Raspberry Pi. The receiver circuit. Connect all the positive terminals of the LED to the digital pins of the decoder. Don't forget to ground your LED pins. We're done with the connections and that's the output.